What's up, world? Welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about stocks, crypto, NFTs, and all the ways how to get to the money. I'm Wasu. I'm Ahmed. And today we're talking about Popsicle Finance and why it is mooning currently, guys. If you're not on the Popsicle train, you need to get on it. Let's go. Three. Hey, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Before we get into the video, we wanna ask you to do something that can help us out tremendously. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Guys, we are dropping alpha, giving you commentary on all the best crypto plays, all the best stock plays, yeah. all the best NFT plays in the marketplace. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we're all about quantum gains on this channel. That's 10X minimum plays. Yes, sir. So if that's something that interests you, bless that subscribe button, it costs you nothing. Yes, Popsicle Finance. For those of you guys that are not aware of what Popsicle Finance is, it's a yield optimizer in Daniele's uh, Time Wonderland uh, uh, Abracadabra Spell ecosystem. So it's the most undervalued one of, of all three, right? So it was the one that was kind of... Um, uh, it wasn't talked about, right? Like, really, it was like it, the quiet it, one that was... It was a stepchild for some yeah, strange yeah, reason, right? Yeah, uh, really. For some strange reason, no one thought about it during the, 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 the boom, during the hype cycle, and during uh, the bear season, you know, during after sea, seafood <clears throat> gate, uh, it has taken a real, real tremendous fall. Right. It went from the height, I believe, at $60, um, to when we opened up our position, it was trading at a uh, dollar and I believe 18 cents or something like yeah. that. And as of today, it's where is it trading? It's at about like two dollars and fifty cents as of today. So we are coming back up. Exactly. We've had about a hundred percent gain yep. since when we opened a position. And we want to kind of talk about why. We want to talk about the project in general because, like we said, it's one of the forgotten children, Danielle's forgotten child. Yeah. And we think this protocol in the next few months, it's really going to see its Lazarus moment Absolutely. because um, there's a lot of wins behind their sales, a lot of alpha. So we want to talk about that. Yeah. So let's just get into the details of what this is. So Popsicle Finance has pretty much three main parts. The first part is the Cerberto for Gole, and it's a Uniswap optimizer where you deposit single assets into the pool you choose and for Gole will zap your tokens into a PLP token and swap it for exact percentage amounts of the pool ratio all in one transaction. So this lessens the gas fees. Now for Gole will then optimize your POP tokens, making sure that your capital will always be within that range that it's being traded. So if one was to provide liquidity directly to Uniswap, they would be confined to that certain pool weight only to earn trading fees within that range. Yeah, the second part and probably one of the most promising parts Absolutely. is a Suberto Limone, right? <laughs> it's a liquidity aggregator that provides maximum trading fees, yields from LPs instead of checking DEXs every day, right? For the best possible yields um, for your LPs, it does it for you across chain. So that is very, 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 very powerful. Yeah, and their final a uh, powerful tool within Popsicle Finance that they're working to launch is JIT, which is just-in-time liquidity. And this will absolutely be a game changer for, the, uh, for Popsicle. Now, when a large trade occurs on Uniswap, Popsicle will deploy liquidity into the tick range that the large trade is taking place, allowing for capture of all trading fees in that trade. So after the trade occurs, Popsicle Finance liquidity then removes within a single block and will get ready for the next large trade. There is also absolutely zero impermanent loss here. So you're literally tr earning trading fees with no risk. Oh yeah. And oh. a fourth one that's just, just, just for you guys, right? They're working on a DEX, a order book uh, based DEX. So users will be able to buy tokens that they want all on one chain in one place. Um, if you're asking how will it work, users will deposit funds into the DEX from any EVM compatible chain and will be able to purchase asset across chains. That was confirmed in the discourse, guys. This is absolutely fantastic. 
Guys, so that was just a little bit of the stuff that they're working on. This is a opportunity for, in my opinion, an easy 50, 60 X, yeah, in my opinion. Time, yeah. A couple things. So first of all, what they're working on is just cool, yeah. right? So many times I know people that are not of De DeFi, DeFi native space, so many people in the traditional finance world, so many people in the NFT space, yeah. they don't have the time or the bandwidth to spend time hunting for yield you guys that are in the DeFi space you know how difficult yeah. it can be it takes so much time so much time sniffing out what is actually a real one that can provide you know yield and versus other ones that are just scams yeah it's very yeah difficult. and and so you have to make sure you're not getting rugged make sure you're not getting scammed you got to make sure that you're moving your liquidity across chain across platforms yeah. uh, across protocols to make sure you're getting the best deal and it would be absolutely fantastic if people can do that for you and that's what they're looking <laughs> to do so we think that's an absolute fantastic catalyst yeah. um we also love that danny our guy where danny max he's on this channel said that he's taking time he's stepping away from wonderland for a little bit to focus his, his primary focus i should say i shouldn't say he's stepping away from wonderland but i should say his primary focus in the next couple of months is to it's gonna be on uh, popsicle finance yeah and that's and from the man's own mouth in dis discord so yeah and i mean you can see it all over the uh the project i mean everything's in italian right. so you know he's really putting his fingerprints on this project and it's great to know that he's publicly set this via discord that this is his commitment over the next few months so if you're a fan if you're a supporter of danny and you've seen his work before i mean this is a a bullish case for this project absolutely 100 percent. and uh, the last thing i think that that's really bullish that makes me really bullish and on this particular project is the community yeah. again you know it's part of the 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 biggest dow ecosystem out there yeah. you know the time wonderland family we are all family yeah. right and we think the rage quit option that will that will make a separate video on went really really well and there was a lot of people that that exited um the project and are looking for for more Dan danny's um exposure more, more danny exposure and i think a lot of people are coming over to the popsicle finance um world of things so yeah and also you know since DeFi has gone through so much over the last few months. I, I think this is one of those projects that, you know, is it's a lead. It's a leader in this DeFi space, right? A lot of things have can happened. Be. It can, can be, be potentially, right? A lot of things has happened. A lot of projects have kind of went down to the gutter. So this is a potential um, good play for DeFi if you're into that. Yeah, 1000%. And any time a project of this caliber with this caliber of team, goes down 97%. This was our, our thought process of why we opened a, a bigger position that we initially had, because like many of you guys, you know, we bought um, our, our first position um, when the the project was flying high, you know, yeah. uh, around the 40, 30 bucks, something around that, that point. And then obviously, you know, whatever, what happened happened and the project ended up being down at 1.98%. And we took a look at this and we said, hey, you know, great founder that we believe in, Great team that is uh, that are actually building that have shipped uh, code before. Um, we think it's undervalued, so we put a, um, a position out, and you know we were right. It, it looks like yeah. it's, it's rebounding. You know? Yeah, looks like it's rebounding. The developers are working on it, so you know we're just gonna let time take its course and yeah. and we'll just, see where we go. Yeah, we we'll see where we go. One thing, it. one last thing I'll say before we go is the developers of, of the, this particular project are based in Ukraine, so. Um, it, you know, we definitely, if you hop in the Discord, you want to send them some positive feedback, some positive yeah. love, um, because they are, you know, still delivering in historic times, right? So it's bad over there right now. A lot of things are happening. A yeah. lot of people can't, um, best case scenario, right? You have to leave yeah, your, your, your country. Yeah. Right? That's best case scenario. Worst case scenario, you're, you're ducking and dodging bombs. And throughout that time, this is how... This is how dedicated they are to, to this project. This is how amazing uh, these people are. Throughout the time, they are still shipping code. They are still producing for you guys. They're still working on this protocol, right? You can see it in the GitHub. So absolutely fantastic. Um, we're believers in this project, and uh, we hope that you guys are too. Yeah. Happy hunting on the next one, guys. We'll catch you later. Peace. Peace.